Hi, welcome. Let's have some fun and install Bodhi Linux. So something entirely different. Sometimes I have to distract myself as well. And we have it downloaded already. Seems to be based on Ubuntu and I have not made any sadly icons for it. Not that I can remember anyway. So templates and I'm going to clone this. I had some problems downloading it in the sense that SourceForge did not download it. But I found on Linux Tracker a torrent and I got myself this version. It's, I don't think the last, but it's good enough. We'll get, get an idea what it looks like. It's actually on the other screen, so I'm moving it over here. And again, so the trick is, trick is click here, double click here and then Ctrl F, then it sticks on screen number one. Now I haven't been able to check everything, so Ctrl. All right. So left control R is going to uh, reset your system, but it also stops my simple screen recorder. I had, for had forgotten about that. So we have here the X Force VSA, VSA something. So if people have problems, you can always press on tap or an E. So it's either a tap or an E from edit. And you can have a look what these people set behind it. So I don't know why these, these things are here behind it, but it says splash and quiet, right? So we can have a look at what this says. Quiet, same thing here, quiet and splash. We can do a mum test, which is also fun as well. And an escape gets me hopefully back. Not yet, okay, I'm back, but I'm all the way back. Check this to integrity is an option. If it is working, check finished, no errors found. Press any key to reboot your system. I have my control R and boot the first hard disk and boot first. Okay, so it's gonna be this one, the live one. Let's have a look what it is. My windows are open, so you'll hear sometimes a car drive by just like now. Just getting a bit of air in, you know how it is. Small room with several computers heating up everything. You need to get some air. Moksha settings. I've read about it on the website. The Moksha. I haven't looked it up if it's also on Arch Linux. We have this here. A render, you should know that. E photo is new, my door is known. Pavu control is there. The body app center, let's have a look. Ah, it's a website. I'm going to a website. Those are the settings. Oh, when I click here, it's going to be like that. All the apps, the screens, the windows. Menus, advanced, files, input, launcher, settings, extension, preferences. Wondering what this is. Oh yeah, that's known to us. And then that one. Uh, well, let's just install it, right? Okay, stopped running unexpectedly. Close. Let's, aha. Okay. Continue. No. Oh, wrong button. Continue. I can do an encrypt, an LVM, and something else. Keep it simple and stupid. Kiss. Continue. This looks quite familiar. Uh, 
Okay. Log in automatically, I would choose it normally, but I want to see how I am greeted. So, there you are. Do your stuff. Let's take a look around again. So, this is Midora, App Center, PC Man FM. At some point in time, back in the days on Arch Labs, we were discussing what to get. Do we get the tuner or do we get PC Man FM as file manager? So it's equally good guys, it's 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 all good. I mean Nautil is good. There is um Tunar, there is um, Nemo. You're all good. It all depends on your workflow, what you want to do with it. And particularly I like these Thunar custom actions that I, I use all the time. So I'm if I'm I'm a bit, I'm a bit lost if I don't have my custom actions there. So the right mouse click, all the, the things you can add in here is what I really require if I'm on other systems, even on, on Plasma, which is complete desktop. And even there, I need my tools. But there are tools, there are tools. There are possibilities to get something in uh, Plasma. You know how it goes. One installation of Tunar, and you got everything rather than look it up where it all is no i want to do the real thing nice right okay they want me to remove it i can do that but just an enter is probably enough often it is in ubuntu which is the base Am I booting up or closing down? Okay. Definitely starting. So a welcoming screen. We're actually on a website which is locally stored, user share. So that's the the actual website. If we probably go in here. No, we're still local, we keep local, and that's okay. We keep local on this web page so internet no internet you always have always have this available that's the advantage a nice um, screen so let's have a look at epad epad has some options word wrap some fonts what else a render we know a render that's recognizable oops it's all pieces of the puzzle you know what i think about all that it's all linux it's all part of the linux world and you choose what application you like okay never seen this one ephoto internet midora and know you pushed already a few buttons terminology was that is that a browser or something? What about NeoFetch? Okay. Ooh, Gretty. Strange font. We should have a look what it is. Um, so. Uh huh. Another one. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. All right. So far, no luck. Need to figure out how to install stuff. I can't do that. How about Incy? Nothing found. How do we go back? Back in here. App Center. Uh huh. All right, it's getting silly. System updater. Password. This, I think. 
Okay, you do your thing. Uh, all right, that's updater. A lot? No, it's okay. For Arch Linux guys, this is nothing. <laughs> we are already accustomed to a lot of updates. A lot of lips. Ubuntu release upgraded core. Is there a Linux kernel in there? And is there a system D in there? Oh, a little bit up. Linux firmware is here. Let's go for system D or something. System D. Okay, I'm not gonna update. System update or system settings. And that's this one, the keyboard layout. How oh, can we go back? Date and time. That's nice clock. Right? Huh, oh, it's the same look. Similar look in the shelf and the clock. You can change the clock a little bit. Alright. Uh huh, nice. Back. Lightium, they're using a Lightium. How's that? Nice to see that you can change it via, via graphical, that's still on our to do list. We actually change Lightium settings via this here, Some, something similar. You can change this to become i3 or become plasma but then probably with a drop down otherwise people don't know what to write in there so and then bspwm etc uh, back <laughs> not gonna change start up your applications uh -huh. okay back all right swami what a name swami control panel okay all good About the operating system, reset Moksha, about the team, about the Moksha desktop. Okay. Ooh, this is going to take forever. Um, about the team. Ark, no. Ark is back. Ark, dark, probably my choice. Everything gets a flash, poof, and it's reloaded. The green makes me think about Linux Mint. No disrespect there, but I've been working on Linux Mint for four years, so kind of like more the Mac Moksha Arc Dark. So I found my themes. Where are my icons then? The wallpapers, maybe beautiful wallpapers. No, no, I don't think there's any more. Go up through the backgrounds. That's just the one. Where are my icons? Can't double click there. There is more. How can I miss my icons? Colors. Hmm, border frame. Fonts. Not a mono. What's this? Close. Apps. Seems to be a lot of settings. You know how it goes once you start 
making apps for this and for that they keep on going creating more and more but i don't see my icons how do i change my icons places oh uh, how do i get to directory tree to the user share double click is so not done here and the icons here they all are somewhere that must be set here's moksha green maxwell green flat all right let's figure it out let's get to set the icons in has to be some way to set it dog dog go right no comments i accept Downloads. Uh, strange look. And how do I know it's downloading? Where is the pop up or anything? Let's do that again. Where are the files? This is a very strange page. This is a very strange page. Ctrl Alt T. It's not triggering anything. Can't search in the menu. What is this? All right, so that was Midora. Can we get sudo apt install Firefox? Anything. Yes, finally, you can install something. Me happy. Let's see if it looks the same. Um, an applications, an internet, Firefox, okay. Double click. Oh, I'll do double click. Source Forge Sadi. That's a normal look. All the files and the tabs. Just checking out the last one. 231 this week. And the counter is working. Yay! Problems downloading, guys. Best tip ever. Check out all these places in the world. United States, Vancouver, Las Vegas, Modesto, San Jose, Paris, etc. Brazil, Montreal. Lots of places where you can download if the server is slow. Can we extract? Open with, move to trash. There is no right mouse click. Double click. I need to figure out how to open this. Mm hmm. Um, pop, pop, pop. File runner, or something. Sudo apt install. Was not called file roller or something. Let's see if that works. Probably not here. Oh, it works. I'm so happy. Ra -da -da -da. We have to wait. That is a bit slow. But then it's, this is VirtualBox in its defense. Nice blue thing there. It's gone now. Went up and down. Okay, are you done? He's done. So this one can go which leaves us all the rest control a control x getting in there uh, let's go like this and then control h 
works icons is not there create new folder dot icons dot icons in here control v haha <laughs> ray did it so ray you're in the video let's shut down discord great um now i have my icons i still don't know how to set it so settings wallpaper theme themes moksha desktop about theme no just text there system update or system settings system settings let, let me look uh -huh. no that's not system settings the swami control panel great name ah, I can click here no I can't click here I thought it would open up a menu with this this tree to so this tally this um, triangle I thought it would open something if I click but no it's like this oh my god how do I set the icons All right, hardcore, hardcore, like they say. Is there a bash RC? No. Is there a config GTK3 thingy? No. Where will they put in the name of the icon? It needs to be in here somewhere. Elementary, config, standard, empty. Uh, nope and nope so config then how to start easy boot script chant the script is still in there dconf enchant epad enchant what's that no text blah 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 epad e for the with dora terminology uh-huh no too bad but terminology is the i thought that's the terminal eh? so i'm at a loss where is the configuration files for the set the icons we have a dconf how about the dconf editor will that be set in there sudo apt install dconf what we have editor he's there it's too bad i can't type in the word deconf and there you are I'm probably looking at this the wrong way a totally wrong way as in so wrong because there's nothing in here that should or would be specific to this desktop environment. You know what? I'm gonna give it some few more minutes, but I'm not gonna record it. So I'm gonna keep looking and maybe Google this thing and then come back. All right, I've been playing around with the system a little bit more. Written down all the icons that I should fix. And there are some messages in there for the developers, things I can't fix. So the best way, and the car is gone. The best way to check if icons are okay is in the user share applications, right? So I've written down that the e-photo should be fixed. This is not following it. e and terminology icons. This guy I can't even fix. That's the message to the developers. If you tell the system to use an, um, oh my God, then you should never use an hard coded line like this. It should be just uh, without the path. So delete and even without the extension. That's That's all you need to provide and the system provides the rest. And if you change themes, 
well it chains along it ch chains with it if of course the icon is created but it will never break just give us this that's enough but i can't change it right now so no uh, esm so this is how it looks with the study icons i always put in the blue one since the blue one immediately shows which icons are missing so this one needs to be created fine okay and this one now this one i don't know what this is where this this is coming from so if i get the name i can do something about it this one is the hard-coded fix path i just talked about this one i don't know where this is coming from or neither is this one in the user share applications and it comes back it repeats by the way um getting these icons was hidden away in here and you see here all the the stuff for the themes and all you need to do is make this a little bit bigger <laughs> and there you see that there are icons hey google right so that's how i found it yeah good old google now the right mouse click here the same here do not know where all these icons are coming from suppose they are hard coded in the application suppose i don't know and uh, this one as well the shelf so these things are well different these guys are okay all these icons are okay these icons are all normal and we've already fixed that for pc man fm so that's it for me guys you've um, you could have scrolled through the video you could have had a look at body what it looks like what it feels like what it has what it uh, entails in general right so i'm off a bit strange probably intentionally that these three are bigger than these three it's not what i created but it's probably intentionally in the theme anyway enjoy body um gonna fix these few icons the others i can't fix we'll see in a future release what changes and um, i'm off cheers